Hi there, good golf here. Welcome to this video on Rift VR and Gaia in Unity 3D. For the past few months I've been using the Oculus Rift Kit in Unity 3D and I want to share some experiences with you. Before I start listing the details, let me start with a big wow! Using VR in Unity 3D is great fun. Once I received the VR kit I immediately started with Gaia since it's so much fun to use and VR makes these terrains even more immersive. What you also need to be aware of is that you will run into some challenges with Unity terrain, which to be honest is years due for an overhaul. Other assets may not play ball in VR either. Don't let yourself set back by this. Many assets just require some tweaking of the settings to perform nicely. So without further ado, here are a few tips and tricks. Read through the VR best practices first. I cannot stress that enough. I actually recommend this before buying the Rift or other VR device. There are a few key concepts which you need to take into account. What I found out to be the most important one is that motion and simulator sickness are not imaginary issues. Your game concepts may not translate one-on-one -on -one to VR. This is in particularly true for first-person shooter style games. It's a potential vomit comment for your end users. Since I'm now working on a VR real-time strategy style game, I started with regular movement, but soon changed into point, click, blink, teleport style movement, which is much more comfortable. When you start creating the terrain using Gaia, you can first give it a few tries following Adam's tutorials and see how it works like in VR, just setting the virtual reality supported flags in the player settings is enough to enable the VR and start the fun. Once you start moving around you will see a few things happening. Stuttering movement, lag in the display or even drop frame rates. This has nothing to do with Gaia. Here are the usual culprits. First of all, grass kills frame rates. Just enable the profiler and you will see huge spikes in the build patch mesh. I don't need grass for my RTS game, so I removed the detail spawner from the group spawner. I haven't given it a try yet, but you nature may actually solve this issue. As you can see, I only have a moderate amount of trees in my scene, and speed trees don't offer a big challenge so far. If that happens to your scene, then try assets out there which may help out. For example, alt trees and the Critias tree system. Now over to the water. Watch out for the reflection, reflection probes. I replaced Unity water with Aquas. It's better in VR, however I had to switch off reflection probes, set reflection layers to nothing, and, and set ignore occlusion calling to true. It still looks really nice, but not as great as it does with all the high quality settings enabled. For sky I stick to my original choice. Tenkoku Dynamic Sky. It has proven itself to work with VR. I do have the reflection probe enabled, but did reduce the update FPS to 0.5. And I added the fog component to the center eye anchor, which is the VR camera for Rift. Ok, next, what doesn't work? Most post-processing assets only result in a black screen. I'm not sure if it's actually VR specific or just due to Unity 5.5. It's a bit of a shame though, given how much these assets typically cost. The only one I got to work is the Unity Beta one, which Adam pointed out in his Gaia forum. Not all elements of this Beta are VR ready, but the fast approximate anti-aliasing is. A tip specifically related to my RTS style game. If you move above the trees, like 100 meter up, you will see that some of the settings in the Gaia terrain presets and prefabs need some adjustments. If we look at the terrain settings, take a look at the tree and detail object section. I've changed the tree distance and billboard start to match my game type. Billboards from the trees really don't look nice from up. 
If you look at the spawned objects, then play around with the terrain and speed tree lot group settings. In particular, sync the instantiated objects which have been spawned. In the defaults, these have different lot group curl percentages, so village elements pop in or out of the scene at different distances, which gives a weird effect. For RTS style, I reset this culling to 1%. I have created an editor script to set culling to 1% for all Gaia spawned objects. It has not been fully tested, I have to admit, but it works for me. I will share it for all to use. Also, I can highly recommend Megasplat. Without it, you will see tiling on your mountains and large terrain patches. Megasplat can remove that tiling expertly. I will create another video to show how easy it is to apply Megasplat to Gaia terrain. Okay, that's it for this video, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Initialize Game Manager Selected zero objects. Selected zero objects.